In this video, I'm going to talk about how to convert a video file to reduce the file size. There are lots of programs you could use, but today I'll be talking about how to do this in VLC Player. If you don't have VLC Player installed, go ahead and search for it on Google or type in videoland.org. VLC Player is available on multiple platforms, so make sure to download and install the appropriate version for your computer. The next step is to determine the total bitrate of your video. You'll need to know this in order to reduce the file size. To do this, right click the video, go to properties, and then details. The total bitrate for this video is just over 10,000 kbps. So if you want to half the size of your video, you'll need to half the size of your bitrate. So in this case, we'll need to change the bitrate to 5,000. Now that we know what the bitrate should be, we can open VLC player, go to media, and then convert. Click the add button and select your video. Next, click convert. In here, select the profile that says H.264 plus MP3. Then click the wrench icon. Go to the video codec tab and change the bitrate to 5000. Leaving the frame size as auto will convert the file in its original resolution, but if you wanted to downsize it to let's say 720p, all you have to do is change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. I want to maintain the original file resolution, so I'm going to type in 0 and change this back to auto. This next part doesn't contribute to the file size, but I like to go into the audio codec tab and change the codec to AAC. Click Save. Next, you'll need to select where you'd like to save your file. So click Browse. I have a folder here called Converted, so I'll save this right in here, and click Start. You should see a progress bar at the bottom, and once it reaches the end, the conversion is complete. As you can see here, the original file size is about 20 megs, and the converted file is 10. It'll pretty much be the same process to convert multiple files. Click Media, then Convert, then Add and select your files. Click Open. This time when you click Convert, you'll notice that you won't be able to select your destination. Instead, you can only save the files in the same location as the original file. So to prevent your files from being overwritten, make sure to check this checkbox to add Converted to the file name. Then click Start. Once the conversion is complete, you'll see that the new files are half the size of the original files. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.